What's up guys, Heath and Teeth Gaming with a, uh, another Tibia hunting video and once again we're going to be in Yalahar but this time we're going to be hunting mutated humans which is great leveling for me I might add as you can see I'm now level 50 so I did a bit of leveling here which is kind of cool for me, it's kind of like the milestone like halfway to 100 which is not a big deal but I'm kind of happy to be there so first off I'm going to show you my route and uh, kind of like how much supplies you should have and where to go, where not to go, which monsters you're going to be facing. I'm going to go right to the start right now, but I just logged off because I just got 50 and I realized I wanted to do this video because I got some good feedback on my last video. I've seen quite a spike. It was weird. I get, like, was slowly getting views and then I don't know where I just got 200 views. Or not 200. It was like 60 on that video yesterday and then the rest of my Tibia videos got views too. So I don't know if since they have more views, they're now in the search bar or what the deal is. I kind of have this bond to myself right now because well, I'm supposed to anyway, but Sometimes people don't really respect if you have the spawn, but we'll check it out. So like I said, this is in Yalhar, and I've been hunting for a bit already, so we're, uh, yeah, I only have 60 pots left. I only brought 48. And to those of you who said about the mana pots, uh, I kind of replied just now, and there's a lot of spike. Uh, when I got hacked, I kind of lost a lot of money, so, ooh. Uh, I used to have, I used to carry like 60 mana pots and 100 and some potions. But like I said, since I got hacked, I kind of lost a bunch of money in all the potions, so I just never really got around to buy, to restocking. I just bought the health potions and got leveling again once I got premium. So this is actually probably, I'd like to say, one of the best power gaining for me. And see, like, I don't, I don't get it. It took my letter N, my four gold. Like, seriously? Whatever. We'll go back to the start here. I got a letter down that said, bro teeth hunting here, respect please. And then message me if you'd like the spot. Like, they, if they were a higher level, they could have had, like, most of the spawn, because I don't hunt the lower levels anyway. Uh, I probably should show you the way in. Uh, actually, it's pretty simple. So, I'll kind of point it out once I kill the spawn. This is the first part of the mutated humans. This is the simpler spawn for lower levels, which is... I'm going to recommend this for... 35 plus knights with decent skills and decent EQ. This spot right here. And Pally's 30 plus with decent skills. Your EQ doesn't really matter unless you're going to go to the lower floors, and which you will, but uh, it's XP rate. I average around 86 to 90k an hour, so that's pretty beast. I like to think anyway, which is almost a level an hour, but of course there's better spots, but this is kind of, it's simpler and it's fairly straightforward. I gotta stop doing that. Okay. So, you're going to want to have a lot of food mana potions and you use a lot of mana because you have to heal uh, Xanapox a lot. So right here, okay I'll show you where we are. This is Yalhar Depot. I'm looking at my little radar. Then just west of it, am I talking to Mumble? No. Just west of it you're going to see the, I call it the southwest exit. You're going to travel down this dirt path and then head northwest and you'll see a guy just like Hal say hi pass arena and then once you're in the arena you're going to pop up right here and just head straight north and you'll see the next gate and just say hi pass alchemist now you're here first off you're gonna have to waste a bit to clear the first original spawn but that happens with full spawns from time to time so and actually i don't know how this one's gonna be i'll probably stop talking once i get down there because it's shit ton of stuff what you're gonna be facing is mercury blobs and mutated humans down here yeah full spawn and i like to take out the the kind of leader mercury blob first before he summons a bunch fuck see i'm getting sh balls deep here no no we're not bad Right. Now move on to the mutated, drop this guy ASAP, and I think the leader is in back. I don't wanna say that for sure, but we'll find out after this guy dies. No, it wasn't him. Alright, who's talking to me? No one. Huh. Random. Okay. Oh shit. I thought I killed it. Must have been a second one. So as you can see I'm getting hit for sevens file poison. Is that a different one? Oh one hit. So you're going to want to Xanapox that shit. This room is just a small room and don't go too far too fast. You know I got four humans and a blob on me which isn't a big deal but just kind of can be a waste if you get, fuck, if you miss, if you just kind of hit low then you're, uh, you give them a chance to catch up to you. And that's why I recommend having okay skills. So, which mine aren't bad, they're 72, almost 73, shit, clicked off. And this is going to be a bit longer video because the spawn is quite a bit larger than uh, Minotaur's. So, and actually at the end of the video I will show you the way here. I'll run back because I'm going to run off, or run back and log off anyway. 
Did that not pick that up? Hmm. Eat food. Bring plenty of food. On in the arena, you can usually loot a good bit of food. There's elephant uh, and a f few hyenas, so usually you can get a few. Uh, no, oh, that wasn't supposed to go in there. A few meat and stuff off that and ham. Uh, and loot. So the mutated, you're just gonna want to take gold and mutated flesh, which sells for like 45. I want to say maybe more. I'm not quite sure. And other than that, I kind of actually I'll wait till I get to the spawn before I get into it. And now upstairs, it's gonna be about Double mutated and a mercury blob, maybe? Mercury, mercury blob. Yeah, that's what it is. So you want to locate the, uh, the, uh, mother? Uh, what's the word? The actual blob instead of it summons right away. Otherwise, they can summon and do, they can summon three, I want to say, and do some damage. So, you don't want that. Waste of pots. Now here, this room right here is pretty big, so, head, I like to do, ooh, someone's down here. This isn't a full spawn, so. But even still, I just kind of head to this corner and just fuck shit up on the way. See, there we're good. Usually, like, you have two Mercury Bobs and, like, three or four humans on you. And shit gets real pretty fast. Because I'm still a noob, so. This stuff can do some damage to me with shield break breaking and such. And almost always, actually always, I've never gone negative here, like, in money. I've never ended up losing money here. Like, I buy back pots and I always have money. It's not, um, the... Profit isn't good. Not no, it's like not great. It's not even good, but it's a profit, and the leveling's good. So that's what kind of I'm all about right now is leveling. Then I'll worry about the money situation later on, which I have because I've been saving up like all the loot and stuff I'm gonna sell, and I should have like 20 or 30k of just like mutated human flesh, uh, minotaur horns, like all that shit. So, which to most people is like no money at all. But now that I'm restarting my character, that every little bit helps. As you can see, my armor is... I like to think it's pretty beast. <laughs> I'm actually pumped with this armor. I, pr mad props to Staples. He fucking hooked my shit up with money. Uh, the sword. Fucking started off the tower shield. And worked my way up to Medusa by trading with Seldrath, a buddy of mine. So, like, mad props to them two guys. Fucking got me back on my feet. And since then, I haven't looked back. High level. I just like to kind of... I'm a casual player, so I log on, get a level, and then I usually just peace. I never, I almost rarely use my two hours stamina, which is all right by me though. Cause I'm kind of in school and shit, and trying to, trying to do all right in school, but I really don't care that much. Ooh. So right now, as you can see, I, I've used 60 mana pots or health pots rather, which is like 2.7k, and I've made 4k. Well. Oh, there's 2k, and then there's 1900, and then there's, are they 20? Yeah. And there's 1911. So I've made 3911, so I'm up like 1.2k right now. So that's the second part. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you're not going to want to head north on that side, because that's a mutated rat, which is quite a bit harder, and you usually have to kill one in this harder spot, which is, that was like, there you average about 60k an hour, and this is where you get the good experience. But there might be someone here, so you're not going to exactly see it. Yeah, someone's here. Fuckers. Stole my spawn. So right here, this building right here, there's going to be the mutated rat spawn. So be careful him down here is double. Be careful here. They can do some damage. They give you 400 experience or something. 700 and some, like, with bonus. Fuck. Don't even get to show this spawn. Mutated and acid blobs, which I'll go, hopefully, if I head the other way, I'll kind of beat this guy. Fucker. Like, why is, like, level 100 and something hunting this? Like, can't be serious. Of course, when I try to make my video, it's fucking packed. There we go. So this is the tower I started off in. You guys already seen that. Up top is the death blob. Bottom floor. Uh, I like to clear the bottom floor, but you don't really get any drops from it, so sometimes it's a waste. Because uh, there's like, I'll show you. If they summon, yeah, see, there's two blobs or three blobs, and I just, I don't take the time. It's not really worth the experience. You're going to want to stay on the ground floor here, because this is where, yeah, see, yeah, that's alright, we got the spawn now. We got ahead of the guy. All you're going to see on the ground floor is acid blobs, mutated humans, and one mutated rat. And mercury blobs. That too. There's people outside my house constantly banging doors for some reason, I have no idea why. Okay, see, acid blobs are pretty simple. They're probably the easiest for the amount of experience you get, like 300 and something, 323 maybe? 393 like and that's with bonus though so like 
For the difficulty, they hit you for like 20s a couple times, and there's 400 experience. Best bang for your buck. Because humans do way more damage than that. You only get 2 something. 220? Or 235. See, I don't really remember all my statistics. It's actually been solid loot. Getting a lot of money. And the most uh, mutated human can drop is like 100 some gold, which is pretty beast when you get 100 some gold. You don't even use a pot for one, of course. Uh, 100 some gold and mutated flesh. So, usually I had uh, clockwise around this loop. You can see on my map, but I'm just going to go counterclockwise to cut this guy off. Hopefully get in most of the spawn. And it might have been just been a higher level running through to get to uh, mutated bats or, hu or uh, tigers. No. We got, what is this guy? Can't click for shit. Whatever. That's okay, because right now you get the gist of the spawn, but I'll continue to run. There's another little tower I like to clear, too. He looked a lot faster than me, though, but he's on a mount. This tower is sometimes I clear. It depends on where the spawn is. Yeah, right here, I think I'm going to clear it. Just kill the acid blob right away. I think there's another two in death blob. Maybe not another two, but... So you're going to go out slowly, get rid of this guy quick, and kill the death blob. But sometimes, like, if you go down, they instantly, like, they're all south, and they, like, each one spawns, like, two more guys, and then you you lose track of the, uh, the, uh, mother slime, whatever you want to call it. And then just kind of gets tricky, and it's a waste again, because you get, like, three things attacking you, shield breaking, and she's just a fit. And this, don't go down here. These are bog raiders. So, stay away from them. Unless you're a and can run them. Which paladins can quite easy. Because I think... Actually, they might be strong to physical. Either they're strong or immune to. I can't really remember. Well, see, yeah, I don't hunt them, so... Nice, we're close to match level 5. Yeah, almost 73, 72. Not great skills, but not shitty skills, so... That's the only reason why this works. I've never been in this tower. Where is this tower? I think that's from the ground level, yeah. So, continue on, you're just going to see a bunch of mutateds and acid slimes. If you're new to this, be careful, because you don't want to get a bunch of shit on you, and then just get waste of pots. Here's the mutated rat spawn, and here he is. So you'll see they actually, they're pretty heavy hitters, like, like, ah, uh, you can see this is where my skills come into effect, they suck. 126, what's this level? Like, 79 EK, why are you hunting top floor? And why do your skills suck? Odds are he's a botter. As you can notice, his skill sucked. So, But that's probably it. Because everything else is mutated rats. And we stay away from there. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Actually, I can't say that yet. i got to show you the way to town. Oh, pick up my one gold coin. Should not give anyone else the pleasure of keeping that after the other three they stole. Kind of random. So that's your mutated human spawn. Probably the best... I'd say you can hunt there 35 to 50 for a joke. Like, I don't really know where else I'm going to hunt yet because I don't really have a sewer, which is healer for those of you who don't know what that means. They can, uh, it's a druid. They, they heal you. They can, it's called heal friend or heal, yeah, heal something, heal person. And uh, so I don't have one of them yet, but when I get a druid, like, friend, my roommate is one, but he doesn't have premium yet, and his computer sucks dick. So when we do that, we're going to get a lot more hunting videos out, or a lot better ones. These are kind of tutorials. The other ones are going to be hunting videos where we, like, do, uh, I'm going to be doing Banshee quests when I get to level 70-something, is it? Look that up right quick. Is it 75? Is it even that? I don't know. We'll check it. Oh, my. Excuse me. Banshee quest. That, I don't even know its actual name yet. Oh, no, 60. It's Boots of Haste, Giant Shield, Giant Sword, Tower Shield. Stealth ring, stone skin, ammy, and 10k. So we'll do that and get me some boots of haste. So you say pass, arena. Oh. I spelled arena wrong. Whoopsie. What the fuck? This guy's being a dick. Pass. Arena. Thank you. So you can see this guy run the worm. Royal pal. I kind of want to watch. Oh, it's in deep health. See, for power, that's a pretty simple spot to run. I think there's a giant spider just east of there. Yeah, and that's fun. Maybe? Or is that down here? No, it's Hydra's. Oh, that's where I almost killed earlier. That's why I just got 778 experience for. I was kind of killing and I was like, oh, this is a waste. But I just kind of wanted to kill a worm at level 49 because it's fun. <laughs> so you're just going to head straight south here. 
this video is probably going to be pretty long, but hopefully it's been helpful in some way. For those of you who don't know, mutated human spawn. I'm trying to think what spawn to do next. If you guys have any uh, suggestions, because I really don't know. Like To be honest, this is my highest level character. I've always, like, when I played, I was young. That's when I put in my most time, and I'd, like, get a character level 20, quit. Get a character level 30, quit. So, and this is uh, foreign. So this is my highest character, so I know the game, like, I like to think I'm not good, but I understand the game quite well. Like, I studied it as a kid. I was a fucking wiener. But, uh, so if you guys have any, like, spawn suggestions, you know about that are good for a level 50 knight with mediocre skills, and I'd like to say power EQ. Maybe I could get a royal helmet, but we'll see. Not sub power, anyway. We got good or better EQ than most, other than the boots. And the weapon. <laughs> and no uh, flat ammo. So, like, now you're just going to head, uh, follow this path, and it's going to bring you straight to, uh, Yalahar. And now that I'm done, I'm probably going to go buy some, uh, spells. I'm going to get Utera now. Level 50 or was level 45? I don't even see, like, I don't even pay attention. Level 50 plus. Which is, take 75 mana and it heals, like, 400 health. Over a minute. No, over... Yeah, over a minute it heals 400 health for 75, which is pretty solid. So that's going to be good against, uh, while hunting. Oh, see, this is... Someone got PK'd. Aversy. That is a higher level, so... And here, you're back to town. So, uh, that's probably it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And click that like button if you liked it. If not, don't worry about it. I won't be too butthurt. Take it easy, guys. Peace.